Okay, so at this point, the software has uh, segmented out each tooth, tried to make its own unique uh, tooth surface. And depending on how well you are scanning, how good you're getting defined uh, embrasures here, the better the software is going to do. And there's some times where it just doesn't matter if it has a little deviation, like this area might not be a big issue, that there's a problem here. But um, I'm going to show you how to fix it in case it is important. So uh, let me click on this tooth, and now whenever it's, you click on a tooth, it becomes active, it turns red. And now I have the ability to simply move a node wherever I want, but I can also redraw by holding the shift button. Okay, so instead of just moving each node, I can hold the shift, and it turns my uh, pointer into a crosshair, and then I can draw. Okay, so now I've got two, dis you know, I've got the line nice and well def uh, defined. Now, in this case, it did actually create two different lines that sort of over uh, inter overlap each other. If I just grab this node and set it right on top of this one, it becomes one. Okay, I could do that again with these two if I wanted, but that would actually make a better, uh, a worse proposal. So I'm not going to do that. But you can see how easy it was to fix that. A lot of these times, I don't even have to touch this in the software. It just does it well for itself. But in this case, uh, maybe it could have done a little better job getting some you know, obvious gingival margin uh, there. So again, the software can only get as good of a, a, an estimate uh, based on the, you know, the quality of the data coming in. Again, another little layer right here where it's not quite sure what to do. So I'm just going to move that up here and up there. And I think we're looking pretty darn good. If you have an, a case that has some significant gingival uh, recession, you might want to go and look to make sure that it's not missing the root surfaces. That can happen. Um, and so just make sure that that's about the area that's more, if there's any, if there's an area that's frequent, that would be it, but it's still infrequent. Most of the time, I just see the proposal and click forward. So I'm going to click on to continue with mandible and let's see how good of a job it did there. And once again, it did a pretty darn good job. I'm not seeing any obvious areas as yet that need to be fixed. I feel like there's got to be a node in here somewhere that's a little bit, yeah. Let me control Z. Anytime you move something and you don't like what you did, just hit control Z. And then it goes away. So... I just like the lines to be very visible. I don't like them to disappear. That, that can cause problems. So anyway, that's it. Um, you know, this is one of those areas where the scan, there's some lumps down here. So what's that going on? And I, I'm going to estimate that that's actually the root surface should be down here. So quick and easy. Just oh, let me turn that and just draw the line. As you can imagine, it's pretty obvious why the software didn't like that. And to be honest, I don't really like that. I'm just going to control Z. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let the software deal with that. It's still going to move that area. It's just going to treat it like gingiva. And since I don't think that's a, an accurate representation of the tooth surface, I'll leave it be. So this one's probably fine, but I'm going to go ahead and fix it. And I think that's probably pretty darn good. Yeah, let me see if I can uh, get a little bit picky about this stuff. I can no, I'm gonna leave that there. I can I could do that. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it there. All right, so I think we're pretty darn solid here. And so now I'm done with this. The software again, in most of my cases these days, I don't have to move any nodes. Um uh, I'm no longer scanning for ortho cases with my Omnicam. And this is also an Omnicam way old version of software. The more current version of software would probably have rendered a much more detailed interproximal uh, scan. So let's go ahead and I just saw something I just wanted to take a peek at. No, oh, that looks good. All right, I'm going to click on model trimming and that will be the next stage.